Questions like this need to be done on a cast diagram. So we should know that off by heart, that's going to be 180 minus x, this is the tan quadrant, 180 plus x, and this is the cos quadrant with 360 minus x. So for the first one, I look at the angle first, 180 minus x, so that's over here, but that's where cos would be negative, so I'll say negative cos x. Now sin 90 minus x is a co-function, remember there's those four co-functions, and you guys need to know those, so that's going to be, I'll write them out for you. Write them out if you don't have them written down already, and stick them on your wall, and just look at them every day. That's a 90 plus. And then there's a weird one. Cos 90 plus x, for some reason, decides to be the odd one out, and has a negative. So sin 90 minus x is the same as cos x. Then there's a plus one over here. Now, for tan squared 540, there are some students who, uh, there's different ways of doing this. So if the way I'm doing it is not the same way you do it, that is okay. Just make sure you get to the same answer. That's the nice thing about maths is we can have different techniques, but we should get to the same answer. You don't want to have your own technique that never gets to the same answer. Um, yeah, then something's going a bit wrong. So what most schools and students would do is you would minus 360 because 540 plus x is a little bit too big so we minus 360 and that's going to give us 180 plus x now that is something that we like so i'm going to change this to tan squared 180 plus x sin 90 plus that was one of the co-functions that i had here if you wrote them down haha well done that's going to be cos x Cos minus x, now there are some students, as I said, your technique might be different to mine, but I'm just going to use the most common approach so that I can help or that I can relate to most of the people watching this video. Um, I would sit here all day if I had to do all the different methods. So cos minus x, what I would do, or what most students would do, is you could add 360 to that, and that's going to be the same as 360 minus x. So it's actually just over here. And so that is just going to be cos x. Okay, now we just need to simplify this one. Tan 180 plus x is positive tan, and then there's a square, so we'll just say tan squared x for that. Okay, now I would simplify a little bit. At the top, you can multiply these two causes together, so that's going to be negative cos squared x plus 1. At the bottom, you could write tan squared as sin squared over cos squared, and then these two together will be cos squared. Now have a look here, guys. At the bottom, You've got a cos squared and a cos squared, but they are diagonal from each other, so they cancel out. And so what we are now left with is negative cos squared x plus 1 over sin squared x. Now for this next part, you might do this in a slightly different way to me, but we should know that there is this identity called, or that goes like this, equals to 1. So you might rearrange this. That's okay, but what I've started doing with some of my students, and they seem to like it, is just change the 1. So it works, it also works. So you change the 1 to sin squared plus cos squared, because then you don't have to rearrange this equation. And then at the bottom, you've got sin squared x. Now check here, these cancel, and so you're left with sin squared x over sin squared x, and so that's just equal to 1.